Ashley in Idaho Falls and Pocatello is spreading good news by bringing you Feel Good Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton in Ammon today. I got an interesting email a few weeks ago about a guy named Bob. Soccer is so widespread in this community nowadays, but few know of its beginnings in the area, the email says. We moved here in the 80s when it was just getting off the ground. A few years prior to our arrival from Denver, where soccer was everywhere, a few individuals in Idaho, Idaho Falls, did the legwork and effort to get so uh, soccer established. We heard the difficult stories of getting the sport established here because it was a new game in the area. But due to the persistence and hard work, soccer became well established. Coaches and referees had to be found, taught, and recruited, and there were multiple administration challenges to overcome. Bob Bush is the only person left from that early effort, as far as I know, to get soccer established here. And Bob is so mild-mannered and humbled that very few people who know Bob also know his background in getting soccer here. Among the many things he did, he was the first Bonneville High School soccer coach. He doesn't share that story much, and he uh, he's now retired, but he devotes multiple hours every week helping with food distribution for St. Vincent de Paul and the Food Bank. Very few know of his efforts, and we believe that Bob should be recognized. Interesting story there, especially for all of us who have kids who play soccer and have been involved in youth sports. And we want to thank Bob for what he's done. We tracked down his address. We understand he might be home right now. We hope he is. We want to thank him by sending him to dinner and giving him a gift card to Amazon. Let's go surprise Bob. Hello. How are you? Are you Mr. Bush? No, Mr. Bush is my father. Oh, Bob Bush? Is he here? Yeah. That's you, oh it is you. Well you're a young Mr. Bush. How are you? I'm Nate with East Idaho News. Uh, we got an email about you and all of the efforts you've done to bring soccer to the area. You know what I'm talking about? Well, I've been involved for, since I moved here in 75, yes. And from what I understand back then, soccer wasn't kind of set up. There wasn't any programs. It wasn't a real established sport. Uh, couldn't even find a soccer ball in Idaho Falls. Wow. No soccer fields, no nothing. So what did you do to get it going? Well, three or four of us had kids played and we played um, earlier in our careers. And so we rode away to two different national soccer organizations, United States Youth Soccer Association and American Youth Soccer, AYSO. The first didn't much respond to us. The second one sent us, hey, here's, if you want to start soccer, here's how to do it. Wow. And it was kind of a blueprint. And so we just Brand started out with no no funding, no nothing. I went to uh, the Idaho Falls JCs at the time. This was back in 75. And said, we're trying to get soccer started, but I don't have any money. And they. Uh, I made a pitch and they gave us 450 bucks and that got us through the first year. Wow. We had 150 kids and then it's just grown since then. And you were the first coach at Bonneville, is that right? Um, first soccer coach? Well, I coached a lot of different teams. Yeah. But yeah, I coached Bonneville High School. I coached there, started Bonneville Junior High School as, as my son grew up. Yeah. Had a couple of Bonneville Junior High School teams. It's wild to think about because now you drive through town any Saturday and there's soccer games happening in every park, every field. I and know. You, you're kind of the make, pioneer. Make, makes you feel pretty good, but uh, it's been a long time. Well, there's been a lot of people. Well, we got, I, as I said, we got an email telling me this story that I had no idea about. And we like to honor people in our community for the good they've done. Oh, I'm not, I'm and the, the person said you do that exact same thing. That you, not, you would want to be recognized. But we got you some gift cards. So we're sending you to dinner. You have to take them because they're a gift. And then there's a gift card to Amazon. This is part of a segment we do called Feel Good Friday where we try to spread good news and you have spread it's a lot of good news. Well, it will be when this airs. <laughs> so thank uh, you for I, what you've done. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, but like I say, there's many more people involved and more instrumental in getting it done. I've just been been around the longest, I think. Well, good for you. As a father who have who has two kids that have played youth community soccer, oh, really? I mean, you've you've good. made a difference. So, yeah. thank you. Good to meet you, Bob. We'll let you get back okay. to lunch. All right. Take, Take care. care.
Ashley in Idaho Falls and Pocatello is spreading good news by bringing you Feel Good Friday.